Duh. Y'all, setting boundaries and protecting myself is still not my default. My default is still to protect the people <laughs> hurting me, which is crazy. Um, so I'm really embarrassed and full of shame, but I figured maybe I'll use this as a teachable moment because I know a lot of survivors follow me. Uh, and I just want you to know that like, I am not this like confident, you know, blah, whatever. Um, I mean, I am, but I'm also full of trauma responses. And one of them is still to protect the very people hurting me. And this happened just last night, which is why this account is now on private. So if you're watching this, then you must be one of the cool ones because this is on private indefinitely until these men get off my back. So last night, um, a woman, and this is why it hurts so much, a woman did this to me. She posted my video about financial abuse, how men use their hobbies, basically posted on her page and, and made fun of me and basically put a target on my back. And within... I mean, immediately, men were, so I was just block, block, block. I was like three in the morning, I'm in bed, blocking men who hate me. It's, it's still so weird to me that, you know, I would never talk to these people in real life, but they're like in my bedroom in this weird way through my phone. So I'm block, 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 block to protect myself and my account. And then I, luckily I had the good sense to put my whole account on private before I went to bed because I didn't want to wake up in the morning to a banned account because of these dudes. Now, this woman who did this to me, she literally calls herself a pick me. Proud of that. Her followers are mostly men. And she had 22 followers when she did this video and now she's got like uh, 16,000 more because of, you know, because of me. You're welcome, lady. And she got a viral video out of, video out of it. But this is my first time being, I've had you know plenty of hate, plenty of hate, especially as a journalist, but nothing like this, nothing like this, where I've had like a, a viral video of like a, literally someone sending people to me. Violent, violent men. And then as soon as I privated my account, they came onto Instagram telling me to unalive myself. I mean, you know, you can make your TikTok private, but that shouldn't stop you from standing in front of a train. But then he changed his mind and thought I should put a pew pew to my head. This guy thinks everyone would be happier if I just, you know, jumped off a bridge, which is funny thing. That's how my cousin died. Anyway, so I've been crying all morning. I'm nauseous, not doing so great, right? But it never occurred to me, not even once, to report her video or these men on Instagram. My mutuals were like, report, report. And I was like, oh, it never occurred to me to go after the person hurting me. I just thought maybe I'll wait till it stops. And now I'm on private indefinitely because I did have a... Oh, I'm still learning, y'all.